we will be looking into how you can load your config file into your go project so i have uh, some uh, skeleton code so main.go is the entry point for our program and we have a config yammer file which has some values in it so we'll try to load it into our main program so first of all that we what we need to do is we need to create a folder called config and you can do it in the same config same main.go file as well but yeah i find it much easier when i save that separated by function so this will hold all the configuration required to load the values from our main sorry our yaml file into our program so you know to do that let's first create a configuration struct and this will hold the values when hold the yaml values when they are loaded into our program so the element would be and we are environment would be string server since it is unnested it will itself be a struct which again will have host string and port which is an integer so it resembles to our yaml file now once we do that we need to create a function which will actually load the values and populate it into our data structure so let's create a variable to hold the values and in order to use it we will be in order to load the values we will be using a package called viper so you just google viper golang then you should have get the link to the git repo and in order to install it you just do go get install viper i'll do the same now if I do viper dot yeah so viper is added as you can see once I save it it should be automatically populated here import or automatically imported and viper needs to think we need to set the configuration path which is the path to our config yaml file so I'll just copy and paste it here and another is we need to set the config name file name what's the name of the file the name of the config file is config itself without the sorry config itself without the extension and we also need to set the pre, sorry, type of the file which is yaml now once these are done we will run the function called viper read in config which will uh, which will read the values so it will discover the configuration file and read in the values from the yaml file as we know it returns an error as well let's handle the error so if error not equal to new ah. not equal to new then we will throw in an error called dot error app saying could not read the config file and put the value as well generally like so since this load configuration would be called in from our main function we'll let's try to return it so let's not do it that for now so what we can do is now once we read in the config we can okay now we read in the config okay we handle the error now what we can do is we 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 read the file like viper read the configuration file and now we need to unmarshal it to the to a variable which is the variable that we declared above so as we see it returns an error as well so let's handle it this time the error message would be different could not unmarshal and since error is already declared you don't need to redeclare it again right and and now this function would be returning the config file so return config we need to update the return values in the function here so it will return config configuration type and it will return an error to return two things 
it will return a variable of type pointed variable and error so let's do pointer variable and error here we need to modify this as well if there is an error then we don't have the variable de yet defined or populated so we define nil and the error same goes yeah as well okay so this function is done right now let's go to the main function and try to call it so config dot load configuration if you hover around it says okay it gives you two values let's map it config comma error and if error is not equal to nil we we throw an error saying could not load configuration file error and if everything went fine you can just do now you can access all the values in your configuration file in config.environment so if I go run main cmd main.go I can pull in the values from there so yeah this is how you can read the configuration file into your go program let's make it much a bit a bit better instead of doing this we let's pass it as a argument to this function config name config type which are all string and instead of open to the side so instead of defining here what we will do is config path we'll remove this config name and we'll pass these values from our main function so let's define it on config path is same path to the folder which contains the config file config name is config itself config type is yam and we pass this to this our uh, main function sorry load configuration function main config type and let's run the program again yeah everything so it looks fine and it is neat so this is how you can load configuration yam uh, configuration file into your program so thank you for watching have a good day bye bye